Okay. We're going to demonstrate a finger trap suture um, as we would do for a urinary catheter. So there is no incision present. This catheter is going inside of the patient that way. Um, so this would be representative of the vulva or the prepuce. I can just simply take a full thickness skin bite of that tissue here so that this tube will be attached to the patient. So I'm gonna go ahead now. I've got my stay suture that's grasping the patient. I'm going to do a square knot using a hand tie. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this needle because it's gonna get in my way a little bit. Don't wanna accidentally cut myself with that. Okay, so I've got my suture here. I'm gonna go ahead and start my finger trap. I'm going to attempt to make this suture approximately equal. So I have plenty of it here. Ends are approximately equal. I'm gonna go ahead and do a square knot using a hand tie on top of this tube. See the first one's not very tight, but I'll tighten it up with the second throw. I want this to be tight enough to not let this tube get away from my suture, but I also don't want it to be so tight that it occludes the lumen. So now I'm going to go underneath my tube and I'm going to make an X. I'm going to cross over. See how I have an X here? And then I can go back on top of the tube and do another hand tie, another full square knot. There's a lot of suture here, so it's a little bit weird to handle it all. Okay, I'm gonna make sure that that's nice and tight. I'm gonna go back under, cross my suture over, and do another throw, another square knot. I'm gonna make a total of three to four, maybe four to five actually. Depends on how secure you want this to be and how long the tube is. I'm gonna do at least four. Okay, there's my third one. Underneath, make an X on top. I wanna space these pretty evenly. I don't wanna get them too close together or too far apart. I'd like for each knot to be approximately equal. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. And I have an assistant helping me uh, moving the tube back and forth. That kind of expedites things. It makes it a lot easier to handle this tube. And when I'm finished, now that I'm on my fourth square knot here, fourth throw, I'm gonna go ahead and put another square knot on top of this so that it's extra strong. And that's what a finger trap looks like. Now this is secured to the patient. And if I try to pull it, it's not going anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my tabs.